Hey guys, it's PJ. Hey, I'm going to do something a little bit different on this video. Um, just right off the bat, obviously, this is uh, not a uh, HVAC video, but thought um, it's always interesting to find out what other folks are into, uh, what they're interested in, and things like that. So, um, I'm going to just uh, showcase just one thing in my little collection that I have. I know, Steven, you like cars. And this right here is what I like. <clears throat> um, I have quite a few guns. And if you guys are interested, I'd be glad to uh, maybe go through some of my handguns, anything like that. But here's just one gun that I, I really enjoy. Um, so obviously it's an AR-15. Um, this is a Wyndham Weaponry, is who makes it, um, formerly known as Bushmaster. Uh, they're made in Wyndham, Maine. Um, this thing, um, there's a decent amount of modifications on it. Um, so, let me talk about a couple of those things first. Um, it has an adjustable stock on it, like that. This is a, uh, right here is for your cheek weld. And then there's two storage tubes down each side. Um, and it's enough to, you can probably put a couple bullets in there or, um, you know, I put batteries in it for, if I'm running a device like a flashlight or anything of that nature. So, um, when you're, See if I can get kind of a shot of this. There's the butt of it. So your cheek would be right up in here. That'd be if you're a lefty. And same thing on the other side. Same by dextrous. Um, there's that. The buffer spring and, and buffers in here. I have a heavy buffer in there. Uh, controls recoil and uh, barrel rise, barrel lift. Um, I have a uh, single point sling mount ambidextrous uh, with a single point sling right here. Um, I don't remember what this sling is, if it's a Black Hawk or what it is, but um, it's it's very it's kind of like a bungee style, so it goes up and down. Um, you got a this is made by Magpul, the grip it's called a Miad M I A D. So you got the box right there. Mission adaptable, so you can see by the picture, you can adjust, you can put in the, oops, you can, different back straps, however you like it, different finger grooves, and then it has a storage compartment on the bottom, and storage compartment, I don't even know what I have in mind right now, honestly, oh, I know what I got, yeah, a few bullets, and uh, a couple Allen wrenches, and the Allen wrenches really aren't necessarily for the gun. It's more for my accessories. <clears throat> so, leave that out. Um, I got a stock trigger in it. This is just a sticker from um, ITS Tactical. They have a pretty cool online uh, store. Angled foregrip by Magpul. Um, this is a Blackhawk uh, quad rail. Um, has the stock gas tube in it and driver. Um, the rail, here's the handguard that came with it, kind of more like the M16 looking style. Um, I've had a couple different ones on there. I've had this guy on there. And I really liked this one because I got bigger hands and it fits my hands pretty well. Um, and it has different pieces you could put on it. But, um, when I put the angle foregrip on, that wouldn't fit with the angle foregrip, and I really like that. Um, just gives your hand a nice place to go. So, flipping this over, <clears throat> this is just covering up that rail, so when my hand sits there, when I'm shooting, my hand's like that. Um, that stuff can get rough on your hands, you're out shooting all day. So, um, I got a dust cover on it. You see, it just opened up. Um, so it holds the bolt open, last shot fired, you change out your mag, 
you put your new mag in there and this lever right here if you pull this back you can lock it open you pull this back hold this down close it that'll hold your bolt open like if there's no mag in there and then this upper lever you swap out your bolt and hit that they call it ping pong paddle and that drives the bolt home and this button just to make sure it stays seated uh, <clears throat> Sights are pretty much standard iron sights. Um, I like these sights a lot. I've had quite a few different optics on here. So that would be like your long range sight. And you flip that one up for, for long range. Or did I say that right? Close range would be the bigger one, long range would be this one. And then um, this folds down, you know, if you if you want optics on it or whatever. So that folds down and gets out of your way. So my Wyndham Weaponry AR it shoots two, two, three, or five, five, six. I think almost everybody is pretty familiar with a uh, with a twenty two shell. So. There's a standard 22 long rifle, uh, Remington or something, all the point. And uh, then there's your 226, or I'm sorry, 223. Um, I got just a couple different ones out here. Um, I got green tips back here. These are what they call penetrators. Um, this, if you've never shot one of these, these things. They will blow through quarter inch steel like nothing. Just blaze right through them. The penetrators are pretty cool. Um, I got some of these hollow points. These are pretty wicked for uh, varmints. Varmints. And then I got the cheaper uh, steel cased ammo. I think these are Tulas. I've experimented with different grips. This is a Hogue grip. It's more rubberized. <clears throat> Didn't have the storage. Do you need storage? No, not really. But I liked it. Tons of different. I got some Millsurp stuff, just metal ones, mag poles. Um, got some that are loaded at all times. Um, some of these I went and I put mag poles in. You can buy like a little let or an actual mag pole is with a little loop on the bottom so you can grab them with your thumb like if you're wearing a chest rig or something. But I just put these little. Um, pieces of paracord in there and you pull them right out put them back in so I got plenty plenty of mags and I got lots more than that but um, I got a nice nice bag for it um, you know holds I don't know six magazines with it something like that um, but there you go there's my AR-15 um, it's it's definitely, they're definitely fun. If you've never shot one, they are just, they're super fun to shoot. You start shooting them and um, you get addicted to them pretty easy. So, um, oh, right there is your mag release, that button right there. Drop one out. So you drop out your mag. Slam another one home, hit your ping pong. And boom, boom, boom. Ready to go shooting more. Um, here's the safety. I don't know if you guys know about this stuff or not, but safe and fire. I haven't done anything to my lower, and it's all original upper. Um, so, if you guys got any questions or anything, let me know. Um, and uh, also let me know if you'd like to see any of my pistols. Um, I'm a big pistol guy. I love, uh, I love the sport of shooting. So, um, And also any of these accessories that you guys see, I'm, I'm constantly selling this stuff on and off, not the gun. But any accessories, I'll you know, use them for a while. And whether I like them or I don't like them, I'll decide if I want to sell them or something. So even anything like that, let me know you're interested um actually give you 
little little taste of one of my guns that I have have to have handy here. Just Smith and Wesson M and P. This is a 40, um, 40 cal or 40 Smith and Wesson. Yeah, M and um, P 40. This is a nice gun. Has a five inch barrel on it. Um, really nice weight. It has uh, tritium night sights on it, so they glow all the time. Um, if you can even see that or not, that they glow, but they're they're cool. At night, you can just they just really pop. So let's look at one of the bullets. Let's, let's see that beside the twenty-two, huh? So there's my 40, and is it? It's just a a little bit bigger than a nine millimeter. Like I said, I don't know how much you guys know about this stuff, and if you want to know more, let me know. I'll be glad to show you. So, um, as soon as I get a tripod for my camera, I'm gonna do. Um, I'll take these out and do some shooting. But yeah, you know, I got like a Sig and Glock, and you know, just I don't want to give away all my tricks, but. Let me know if you'd like to see them. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.